Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm a childcare assessor at um, Hartford Regional College and we're going to look at some childcare apprenticeships today. So the apprenticeships that are on offer from the Hartford Regional College are the Early Years Practitioner Level 2, Early Years Educator Level 3, Teaching Assistant Level 3. So what are apprenticeships? So an apprenticeship is a different way of learning to a traditional learning. You're employed as a staff member in a job and will be entitled to all the same perks as an employee. For example, pay and holiday pay. Hooray! You'll be trained not only by your tutor and assessor, but also directly by your employer in the workplace. You'll receive 20% of your paid week to study. And the employer will provide you with practical experience, the day to day of how to do the job. And your assessor will provide you with theory and the knowledge to understand your course and will assess how well you're doing within that course. So how do you become an apprentice? So there's various ways. First of all, you need to be 16 or over. You need to be lived in the UK for at least three years and not in full-time education. There, you can go on the government database website and look for apprenticeships there, or if you want to, you can come. I would recommend you go to the Hartford Regional College website, click on that, and then you can find what current vacancies we've got. You can apply directly or you can contact us and we will find you an apprenticeship for you as well. Early as practitioner level two apprenticeship. This is a level two qualification. Within this, there are, you'll be doing the level two diploma for the early years practitioner. You'll have English functional skills level one to complete, maths level one functional skills to complete. We will also have to attempt level two in both. There is also an endpoint assessment which will be comprised of multiple choice test and a portfolio of evidence and a discussion. If you have GCSE grade E or D or stroke <laughs> two or three in maths and English, you go straight to level two functional skills. If you have GCSE grade C or above, this will make you exempt from doing all functional skills. Hooray. As a level two practitioner, you may become a key worker for a small group of children. You may walk alongside others to help plan activities for children's individual needs. You will work as a supervised member of staff. You will also be expected to follow all policies and procedures and provide a caring environment for the children that you'll be working with. The Early Years Educator Apprenticeship, which is a level three qualification. This comprises of the level three diploma for the Early Years Workforce or Early Years Educator. The English Level 2 Functional Skills, Maths Level 2 Functional Skills, a Level 3 Award in Paediatric First Aid, an Endpoint Assessment, which is again a multiple choice test and also a discussion and a portfolio evidence. If you have GCSEs Grade C or above, it will make you exempt from having to do the functional skills. As a Level 3 Educator, you will be a, will be a key worker for a group of children. You will be able to work individually on, on, on your own. You'll plan effective nurturing activities based on an individual children's interests and needs. You could become a room leader at level three or a deputy. You can work unsupervised and be expected to follow all policies and procedures and provide a carefully planned caring environment for the children you'll be working with. Teaching assistant apprenticeship. This is also a level three qualification. This comprises of the English level two functional skills, maths level two functional skills and endpoint assessment which is an observation and a question and answer session and a portfolio of evidence and discussion again if you've got GCSE grade C or above or a four you'll just make you exempt from functional skills as a level three teaching assistant you'll be working with the teacher to support the needs of the pupils of the class you may work one-to-one -one on a on, on a one-to-one -one basis doing interventions with children or you may lead a small intervention group in conjunction with the teacher's planning You'll also be expected to follow all policies and procedures and provide a nurturing environment for the children that you're working with. This is a testimony from a learner who's recently completed her level two early years practitioner apprenticeship and has started her early years level three early years educator apprenticeship. Okay, so can you just give me like a little summary as to why you think you did why you chose to do yeah, so for me, I obviously I went to school, went to the sixth form, halfway through sixth form I realised it just wasn't for me, I wasn't in like an academic sort of mind frame, I didn't want to be writing millions of essays to get where I wanted to be in life, so an apprenticeship for me is just sort of, it's much a better way for me to learn because I'm very hands on, very 
sort of hard work and sit in a classroom this is just the best idea for me so I think I've actually gone further with apprenticeships and training because they give you the time as well so for me, I love structure yeah and I love timetables so I love to be able to know when I need to go into work when I need to do the coursework when it needs to be by deadlines and everything so in school I found it's all to let you get on with it yeah. So here, I love the structure and I love sort of the frameworks of it all. And I love having also someone who checks up on you personally rather than saying, all right, class, how are we done, like, yeah. all this. So it's nice to have that one-to-one -one as well. Yeah. But yeah, generally, and it's nice to sort of feel like you're work it's, it's like you're learning, but you're not, because you're working as well. So you're like just constantly gaining knowledge. And then when it comes to coursework, you realise you've had knowledge that you didn't even know because you've been working in that environment. So it's really nice. Yeah, no, I definitely recommend. So there you go. So um, hopefully we'll see you at Hertford Regional College. It's a combination of um, you being in the workplace and I would come to your setting and we'd plan around that. All right. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.